We're on? Yeah. We're already on. <laughs> nice. Hi, I'm Father John Hatcher, the president of St. Francis Mission, and uh, we're here in the Biko Lakota Memorial Museum. And uh, I'm here with the director of the museum, Marie Kilsensite. And uh, Marie, might, maybe you could tell us some things about the importance of this collection and where it came from, how it came together. Yes. Um... The Beagle Memorial Lakota Museum uh, began with uh, Father Eugene Beagle. Um, he was here in the 1900s and um, his work was um, catechists and bringing about um, uh, uh, peace and working with uh, Chief Red Cloud from Pine Ridge and Spotted Tail on the Rosebud. So, uh, as he went around doing catechism and um, to the neighbors around, um, they would um, give him gifts. And in our culture, it's a custom to give uh, a stranger uh, uh, wh who you would um, befriend him and give him a gift. And that's how. Um, he accumulated all these um, uh, now artifacts, and as he as he uh, went to uh, different areas and different uh, families, um, his um, collection grew. And in 1947, um, one of the brothers uh, built. Um, the first museum and um, it's a small museum but he managed to bring about a lot of the artifacts and um, as uh, he had to find a, a bigger place um, the addition was built in uh, the late 1980s and um, with the addition, uh, it's named uh, Chief Little Thunder, and with that, uh, they also have uh, the um, basement, and in the basement we have some vaults. And in the vaults, we have more of the collection for safekeeping, and we also have um, some botanicals um, and some... Uh, pictures, or photos, which uh, Beagle and Father Zimmerman took. And those are also in um, the vaults. And um, we have uh, the past, we had um, the collection up, and it's been up here for a while, and then we did a rotation, and we have, um, some um, eagles, uh, we have arrowheads, we have quiller, we have um, paints, and we have a teepee, a little model of the teepee, and we also have a little uh, celebrity here, which is Johnny Cash, and he came twice to the mission, one in the uh, early 60s and one in the late 80s, which he donated his guitar to the mission. And like every town, there's always uh, a celebrity or someone important, and we're really happy to have his guitar here. I should learn to play this, because oh. well. <laughs> it would be nice. <laughs> yes. And wow. um, our museum is all Lakota, and it's a wonderful place for it's educational and our local schools come here for their um, schoolwork and we also have winter counts which um, the teachers would bring the um, kids over to do their own uh, winter counts in their own lives Great. so we have that too so this is an important uh place in order to preserve much of Lakota artifacts, but also Father Biko did the orthography for the language, and uh, so all of his collection is here as well. 
So people come from all over to see this museum, and that's, we consider this to be an important gift that we can preserve for the Lakota people here on the Rosebud Reservation. Thank you.